very shocking because because eighteen hundreds we thought of light as a wave, and we often still do because it's very convenient yeah. to do so sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's acting like a wave. Yeah, yeah. Um, but here was an instance where it really acted more like you threw a basketball at something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a really tiny basketball. A really <laughs> tiny, <laughs> which was basketball. incredible for Einstein to observe because basketball hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> yes. Right, and I somehow don't see him. I don't know, jiving with the sports analogy. But anyway, so photoelectric effect, shocker. Paper one, paper two. Paper two, um, special relativity, where he Oh, just has, that. Just <laughs> that. So a lot of times, so the theory of relativity became this real colloquial thing. Everything's relative, and it became invest in society. I often say it could have been called the theory of absolutism. Because what Einstein really had done is he had adhered to the absolute limit of the speed of light. He took that more seriously than anybody else was taking it at the time. In fact, people were, were struggling to get rid of it, uh, this idea that the speed of light was a constant. And they were doing everything they can to dethrone that concept, which really wasn't taking Wait, hold. So it's not just that it's a constant. It's that it's a constant no matter how, when, or where you measure it. Absolutely. You're getting the same answer. That's right. Even if you're moving right. and the light is moving relative to you, you measure the same speed of light. Right. Which, which is, doesn't exist for anything else. That's insane. Yeah. That it was right. an insane it's, concept. It's Two cars coming at each other or coming at each other faster than if one of the cars stops. <laughs> right. Okay, but that is not true at the speed of light.